you know the hip hop guy. You're around. Hi, Hemi. Hello. Just digging in the dirt here. The lawn was looking pretty rough, so it's time to uh, re-lawn the lawn. Resod the lawn. Resod. Um, and that uh, this is the first time I've used my very cool new cart from uh, Manuel Capel on the island. Capel Custom Carts. We traded uh, that. I gave him a piece of my art for that. So good trade. Uh, yeah, it's a great trade, and it carries an awful lot. It's, it's yeah. a big, heavy load, but I got into no trouble. Project straight up on this sort of project. So you're never gonna lose a tool. So this is the, the, it's almost ready to go. I'm just pulling out the last of the bits. I'm going to add some more fresh soil and then lay the sod down. That's my plan. Yay. Then I'm going to go for a celebratory beverage. Hi, can I take a picture of you? Sure. From yeah, of course, yeah. The garden cart loves having its picture taken. Yeah. There is a post about the history of the garden car oh, on my website. Both of so, them? Yes, it includes photos of both. So it's yvonnevanberg.com and it's the latest post, so it's easy to find. Very good. Okay. yvonnevanberg.com. You got that, people at home watching this? And the people on your phones? This is like a once. Uh, yeah, we were always wondering about this. So, is this like your project, or uh, this thing belongs to the community? There was a group of us that made the first one in uh, June of 2006, and we asked for forgiveness rather than permission from the city. But they've let us keep it here every year as long as it's insured. And uh, we, I'm kind of its caretaker. My friend Chimez and I. Just you? I, well, I do the gardening. Uh, you know, people add their own little bits here and there, but. Um, I've taken responsibility for it over the oh, years. I'm gonna shake your hand mentally. Oh, it's it's so go. nice to meet you. Well, it's an honor because I've noticed this thing like many times, and I was just actually just today talking about how creative that is. Oh, cool! So you go. guys did it in 2006, and yeah. it was just like a broken down car, or? The idea was it came out of somebody we started and ran pedestrian Sundays. Yes. Yeah. And one of the one of our friends wanted to do something. We wanted to smash a car during the event. And one of our other friends, we thought that's not such a good idea. It's a family-friendly event. But this other friend said, "Well, ah, forget smashing it. Put put plants in it. Make it fun." And so, bingo. Okay, we're gonna make a garden car. And so the idea stemmed from you know drinks one night, and and, and we've made a second one. This is the second one. The summer car to summer plant plant pot. <laughs> exactly. So that whole thing is full of soil. Yeah, wow. pretty much. We bent the seats back and filled it up a little bit, and then there's a tarp, and then some gravel, and then a whole lot of dirt. It's really heavy, and you need a tow truck to move it. So well, hopefully you guys won't need to do that. <laughs> we have to move it off for the winter. Oh, it you hibernates, do. It hibernates oh. off the street during the winter, and then we bring it back every every spring. Cool. Well, it's an honor to meet one of the creators behind this and to find out the story. Yeah, I know. Cheers. I'm an artist myself on my free time, so I totally appreciate this. Amazing. Thanks for making it so much fun. Thanks for making our city what it is. Thanks. It's a culture. The vision is actually kind of like this is really compacted. A lot of people stand and sit on it. Yes, and yes, they do. I feel like I should try to loosen it up a little bit so that the new grass can have breathe. A yeah. Yeah. Put some roots in. Anyway, we're almost there. It's a once. Is this a once in a season event right now? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, I planted this. Wait till that thing grows. So this thing has traditionally been somewhat attacked by stupid drunk people at night. 
So I decided to go on defense this year and I got a Barbary bush. That thing's got spikes all over it. And so do the roses. So I'm hoping, we'll see. Uh, hopefully that'll fend people off and hopefully the lawn will take. It was really in bad shape. So new sod, lots of water, and uh, we'll hope for the best. It's nice to have a nice little park in on the street for people to sit on and enjoy. This is my little bit of spring garden. I sort of know what I'm doing, but not really. <laughs> but isn't that what gardening's about? You sort of experiment, yes. see what happens? Yes. Just get your hands dirty. Okay, that's looking a lot better. I'm just going to try and get that soil up, but I'll just go with this one. Do you have to tow it? Uh, yeah, it's tow truck only. And then we let it hibernate off uh, on the street over the winter and bring it back in the spring. Just before the first pedestrian. It's great. So you have a like, Yeah, we're allowed to keep it. It's insured by this business here. That was the one requirement. And the, the Toronto Parking Authority waives the, uh, the small amount of loss revenue. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. More parks, less oh, it's, parking. It's, of course, it's fun. It's good. Thanks, that's fine. <laughs>
I have to say, Sod is a really fascinating creature. The seams are lined up, now we can fill the holes. How are you feeling about making a run to the hardware store? Okay. a flip and curl technique here, my friend. Okay. A bit more cutting and then it's hole patching time. teaches you how to do these things, you just kind of figure it out. Strange. I can't stop smiling as I watch you work. <laughs> extra water and hope for the best.
Look! It's a perfect lawn. It fit just right. It's like a puzzle. This is super fun. Okay. If cars were Chia Pets. It brings so much joy to people. Isn't it fun to watch people's reactions? Right? Yes. My favorite thing is in the spring when we bring it back. Every year without fault, people say, or they look at you like concerned, where, where are you taking it? Where, where are you taking the car? And we say, don't worry, we're just bringing it back. It's been hibernating all winter. And they go, oh, okay, I thought you were going somewhere with that. But every spring, people just assume that it's been here. It's here in their consciousness, whether it's physically here or not. Or not, yes. It's so amazing. Anyway, Shimez and I both love that part of spring. Right I'm smiling so much, it's actually hurting my cheeks. Oh boy. <laughs> you probably needed it. It's good for you. Beautiful. I like it. Yeah, look at that work. Work. Oh, like your precision. Much. Well, I'm trying. Ah, you can do it three dimensional with these scraps. Do a big K. <laughs> Grass on grass. Do you think it would, would it take though? I don't know. If you do a, maybe if you slice it, so, so grass comes out. I'm going to water it and hope for the best. Yeah. Water Good work. Thanks, buddy. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Wah, wah. Well, now I just have to make a little sign that says, please stay off the lawn. <laughs> Yeah, you crazy kids, stay off my lawn. Stop, stop. <laughs> well, apparently you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to like step on it. It needs time to yeah. get its roots in. So you need a little white little picket fence or something. Well, yeah, that would get ripped off. You put it on Twitter. Hashtag garden car. Garden car. Garden car. Pretty good, I'd say. You know, driver's side, passenger side. We need some grass. I got grass here. Grass? Would you like some grass? It's Kensington Market grass. I'm selling grass. I'm kidding. I'm giving it away. <laughs> you know that's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> grass here. Well, that's it. Then you're done. The lawn has been pre-sodded. Uh, let's get a final shot without. Here you go. Look at the loveliness. Yes. This is the nicest it'll look ever. It won't 
Euh... Yeah. Tu as besoin du, du gazon, par exemple Non Du gazon. Anyway, that's the nicest it's gonna look. We'll enjoy it while we can. Next up, water. Water. So you're gonna go get some more water. Yep. And uh but and then we're gonna hope for the best. Hope for the best. So and then I'm gonna go grab a drink on a, the patio. And yes. Enjoy my fruits of my labor from afar. So, so we're done. Get the garden car. Kensingtonmarket.to is the website for the BIA and there is a post about the history of the garden car at Yvonnebanbrick.com. There we are. Thank you and Ladies. thank you, Himmy. <laughs> you're very welcome. Well, Yvonne said it all, so I'm not going to say anything else. Except, maybe I'll just show her. Hey, see? This is where I did the labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Just my little, my little bit. Thanks for the contribution. <laughs> Here we are. All right.